Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com and we're at Winter Nam 2015 in Anaheim. We've got Michael here from Toneville Amps. Michael, you guys have a super cool looking new tremolo reverb unit up here. It's going through an amp that we reviewed a while ago, the Beale Street. Super cool, we gave it an award. But what we're focusing on is this toolbox. Right. <laughs> Everybody needs a toolbox, right? Uh, yeah, so just from the aesthetic, it's like totally, it's dudes, you know, we love tools. But this thing is really cool. Uh, two sides. On the right side, you have the tremolo, and on the left side, you have the tube amp. So uh, basically, I mean, not the tube amp, sorry, the tube, the, the tube reverb. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, here you have your tube and your spring, I believe. Tube spring. and spring. And here is your tone. So you have your tube level, your spring level, and your tone, okay? And then here on the tremolo side, you have your depth, which I like to keep cranked to get that nice wide, you know, uh, back and forth, and then your speed. So like I said, of course, we all know it looks badass, but it sounds ridiculous. So when you want those long, wide, you know, far-reaching tones, there's nothing like it. Now, what do we have looped in up here, a little pedal? Oh, uh, this is just a switcher. Um, I'm not even sure what, what did we get here. This, this is just a switch to effects. Yep, and, and the tremolo. Which is, okay, you can turn the, the tremolo and reverb on and off. That's a QSAC switcher there. Yeah, it's not proprietary to Toneville. Yeah, it's just any any little switcher you can pop in there. Okay, so we've got a bunch of tubes in there. You know what those are? Mostly 12AX7s. We need to bring the I Mac mean, fill I over here. Bring the Mac. I'm Nomad. I'm just jam out on guitar. The Mac built the thing, so. <laughs> Mac, let me hop over here. Okay, hey. All right, so there's a bunch of glowing bottles in there. What are they? 12 AT7s, 12 AX7s. So you what? Got, you got a couple of 12 AX7s running the running the tremolo, and you got a 12 AT7 and a 12 AX7 running the reverb, and then you got a, a, a 6K6 running the power, actually powering the whole unit. Okay. So. 6K6, 6K6, huh? 6K6, I've yeah. never even heard of that. It's a it's a RCA, a new old stock RCA, so it's old okay. and it's sweet. Now, are those being made? Now, by you know, is uh, Electro Harmonics or uh, JJ making those these days or anything? Uh, well, everybody's got their own versions of the tubes, but we find that the new old stock tubes are just a lot sweeter. They bloom a lot more. They just sound better all around. They give you that real deep sound in the reverb. I just hadn't heard of six K sixes before. So people like out there probably want to know if they like they have to buy a new old stock one to have it work or. You know, you could actually put a 6V6 in that spot. It will just run it a little bit hotter. The okay. 6K6 is a little lower power. Okay, cool. Now, tell us about the circuit inside, because there are companies these days who are doing, like, you know, DIY kits and sort of a, a standard circuit. I mean, nothing wrong with standard, but something that's sort of based on an old, sure. say, a 63 Fender or whatever. So I'm not going to lie. This is based off the brown Fender Reverb circuit. What I did is I took and made my own twist on it. Uh, I took and kind of changed a few of the parameters and then I use a whole different set of resistors and capacitors to make it sound a lot sweeter, uh, a lot deeper, um, just the way we like it, so. Okay, now Michael, should we have, try a couple other settings? Sure. Really max things out or whatever? Yeah. If you don't mind, let's turn off the tremolo. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna turn off the tremolo and just hear the reverb. So my favorite setting is a lot of tube and a little bit of spring, so we'll show you that one. And I like to keep it a little dark on the tone. So that's... So, so the leftmost knob, you said, is sort of like adding some nice warm tube gain. Tube saturation to it, yeah, exactly. And then this is really the receiving end of it, so this is the spring side of it. So that you can hear as you get louder on the spring. Go ahead and play something. You hear that pinginess and that like deep pool at the end of a tunnel kind of sound. That's from all the spring and the tube mixing together. So. So it's a long spring Accutronics tank up there. Absolutely, yeah. Are you, are you guys offering this in other formats for guys who? Uh, don't want a toolbox or just something more simplified, yeah. something that doesn't scream out like that? No, the toolbox is our thing, man. Uh, we like it because it's kind of utility too. You can put stuff in here, lock it down. Um, we do have two versions of this, one with reverb and tremolo and one with just reverb. So uh, the reverb one's a little cheaper, 
but uh, this thing's just a great accessory to any guitar rig, man. You, you brought up pricing, so what are the prices? Uh, I believe this is uh, twelve hundred dollars uh, with the with the tremolo, and it's a thousand bucks without the tremolo. Okay, and that's street or list? That's street, yeah, that's a street. Okay. All right, Phil. So we lost Michael, um, but we wanted to mention before we go that you guys are working on some cool new bass amps. Um, got them back here. We'll show people in a sec. Um, where can they go online to find out about the new bass amp, about the uh, reverb tremolo? You know, I don't even know if you told us. Is there a special name for it? Does it? it does have a name. It's called the Rio Grande. Rio Grande. Yeah. Where can people go to find about find out about the Rio Grande and the new bass amps that are coming up? You can check it out at, at um, tonevilleamps.com. You can check out all the information about it. You can hear some videos with uh, with uh, demos of it. And uh, the base amp that's coming up, we are uh, still prototyping, but we're really happy with where it's going and uh, should be seeing that in the next few months. We're going to be calling it the Catacombs. Nice. All right. Thanks, Bill. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com.